I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of my WhatsApp group, Free Math Solutions. We are actually providing free solutions to most of the people who are posting their questions. We have excellent team now and many of the volunteers have jumped in to provide brilliant solutions. Here is an excellent example which I am going to share with you. So the question was posted on equations based on logarithms by Sir Isaac Newton. I'm using the names which are written here and Narad provided the solution within no time. Now this brilliant solution will be discussed in this video to help many others in my YouTube channel. The question here is x to the power of log to the base 3 of 2 is equal to square root of x plus 1. We need to solve this equation. So we can assume that rather we can let the right hand side which is square root of x plus 1 be equal to a. In this case square root of x will be equal to a minus 1. Squaring both sides we get x is equal to a minus 1 whole square. Now x is a minus 1 whole square and the right hand side is a. So we can continue with our equation substituting for x a minus 1 whole square. So on the left hand side we get a minus 1 whole square for x and that's, that is to the power of log to the base 3 of 2. The right hand side is a for us, right? Now we can multiply the powers using the power rule. So we get a minus 1 to the power of 2 log to the base 3 of 2 is equal to a. Now again using the power rule we can write this as log to the base 3 of 4. So we get here a minus 1 to the power of log to the base 3 of 4 equals to a. Now log to the base 3 of 4 can be written uh, we can change the base to ln right. So log to the base 3 of 4 changing the base can be written as ln4 over ln3, right? So we have a minus 1 to the power of ln4 over ln3 equals to a. Now this can be further simplified and we can write this as a minus 1 to the power of ln4 is equal to a to the power of ln3. Do you see that step, right? Now we can take log on both sides. We'll take natural log on both the sides. So we get ln of a minus 1 to the power of ln4 is equal to ln of a to the power of ln3. Using the logarithmic rules once again, we can write this as ln4 times ln a minus 1 equals 2. Here we get ln3 times ln a. Right? Now if you look at this equation, then what can you conclude? Well, clearly we can conclude one thing that if this equation is true, then we can equate ln a with ln 4 and we can equate ln 3 with ln a minus 1. So that gives you the solution, correct? So let me write down on the right hand side the equivalent equations from here. So we get ln a equals to ln 4 which implies that a is equal to 4 and we have ln a minus 1 equals to ln 3 which implies a minus 1 equals to 3 and that also gives you the same result which is a equals to 3 plus 1 equals to 4 correct so basically we get the value of a right so so in this we'll substitute the value of a so we know that square root of x 
plus 1 is equal to a, we found a as equal to 3, right? Uh, a as equals to 4. So, so we can write this as square root of x plus 1 equals to 4, which gives you square root of x is equal to 4 minus 1, which is 3. Squaring both sides, we get x equals to 3 square, which is 9, correct? So that is how we actually get the solution, and the solution is x equals to 9. So I hope you find it interesting and useful. And now with this excellent team in our WhatsApp group, I think we'll be in a position to provide solutions to participants from all over the world. I'll provide you with a link to join the WhatsApp group, and you can also contribute in this fashion. Thanks for your time and all the best.